G'day viewers, welcome to Wimble Train. This is John with you here today. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at switching a Kato turnout with a momentary toggle switch. Now you may have watched uh, my previous video on this unit here, where I had a toggle switch and a push button. So there's been a few questions asked about this. Um, if you want to go back and watch that video, I'll put a link to it. So now we're replacing the push button and the fixed toggle switch. You know, it's just an on-off switch, or on-on, I guess. Double pull, double throw with the push button. And we're going to replace it with this momentary toggle switch. Now, if I'll use this instead of my finger, because it'll get in the way, you can see this switch, it always goes back to the center so that's why it's called momentary so in the center it's always in the off position and then you operate the turnout one way going that way and the other way going that way so now we'll go over and have a look at the circuit for this unit here with the momentary toggle switch we'll see how it works and then we'll come back and do a demo and then we'll talk about putting LEDs on there as well. Just before we go over and have a look at that circuit, I'll show you the uh, toggle switch from the side, how it operates. It might be a bit more clear on what it does. See, I'll push it there and you have to hold it in on position. So when you're operating the turnout, you just give it a quick flick like that one way and a quick flick like that the other way. Now with these toggle switches, I'll show you a close up of the side. Um, it'll say on it, on on and off in the middle and the on is in brackets because the brackets means momentary if there's no brackets on that switch then it won't be a momentary switch it'll just stay there be like a normal double pole double throw switch with the center off so just make sure you get the right switch so here's the basic circuit pretty straightforward we have our Carto turnout connected to the two middle pins of the switch and then we have a DC power supply connected as shown with uh, two cross over wires to the other terminals so now if we operate the switch and remember this is only momentarily that we press this we don't hold it down for any length of time we just give it a quick flick but uh, we'll just slow it down this demo so you can see what's happening so now if we flick the switch in one direction, you can see the turnout there is in the straight route at the moment. And if we flick it, the positive volts go through the switch to the red wire of the Cardo turnout. And the uh, negative from the 12 volts DC, the black, goes through to the black wire of the turnout. You can now see that the turnout has operated and is on the diverging route now so now when we let go of the um, switch there's no voltage applied to anything and the Carto switch stays in the diverging position so now if we flick the switch in the other direction we now have the positive 12 volt from the power supply going to the black wire of the Carto switch and the negative volts to the red wire of the Carto switch and that'll operate it back into the straight route position and then the switch will flick back to the off position and the switch will stay where it was and that's basically how that operates fairly simple and straightforward so here we are with our demo unit and uh, you can see the uh, switch is in the straight route straight through We've got our toggle switch here. Now if we flick the toggle switch to this route here, it should operate the turnout like that. And that's simple. You just give it a quick flick and it'll flick over. And the same so when we flick it back, the switch goes back. That's it. Pretty straightforward. Now the issue with this if you're adding LEDs is you've got to add a bit of extra circuitry because this switch is always in the off position so there's no power for the LEDs to operate now if you connect LEDs 
as we did in the uh, previous video they'll, they'll quickly pulse when you flick it to one side or the other but then they'll turn off because there's no power applied so I go back and show you a circuit that uh, I've come up with there's probably several ways to do this but uh, I'm basically using a latching relay to operate the uh, LEDs so we'll uh, have a look at that circuit now and then we'll come back and show you the unit with uh, LEDs fitted so here we have the setup with the uh, momentary toggle switch and LEDs so you can see there we've got a latching relay two LEDs and two diodes which we've added to the circuit now we'll explain a bit more about how the latching relay works at the end but for now we'll just uh, go through the circuit so currently we're in the straight route for the turnout there's no voltage applied to any of the circuitry at this stage so now if we give our toggle switch a flick you can see now that uh, the positive 12 volts from the power supply goes to the red wire of the Carto switch and the black goes to the black wire of the Carto switch and the switch is operated into the diverging position now at the same time as that's happened is we've got uh, our top diode there which is colored red now so basically voltage has been applied to the set contacts on the latching relay and that causes the relay to switch and when the relay switches then that LED changes to the other LED so one LED will be for the straight route and one for the diverging route so at the moment the LED for the diverging route has lit up so when we let go of that toggle switch again everything stays as it was so the relay switched and it just stays there that's what's called the latching relay so then if we operate the switch in the other direction to switch it to the straight route you notice the Carto turnout has gone to the straight route this time we have positive going to the black wire of the Carto switch and the negative voltage to the red wire of the Carto switch and now this time the bottom diode is operating and that has uh, triggered the reset of the relay which then switches the switch in the relay which then changes over the LED to the straight route and then when we let go of that momentary switch everything stays as it was so in this circuit the diodes are put in there because the diodes will only operate in one direction of current flow so then at any one time the set or the reset on the latching relay will be operated so now here's a, a diagram of the latching relay and we'll explain a little bit about how this works now the latching relay that I was able to get easily has uh, the set and reset connection separate but in this model you can also get one that just has one set of contacts to operate it and you just reverse the voltage for the set and reset function like I said this is the only one I could get easily so this has got two inputs set and reset so if we have a look at the circuit here I've just got like two push buttons connected to positive 12 volts the uh, and then they go through to the set and reset connections on the latching relay note the polarity they've got to go to the positive terminals and then the two negative terminals of the latching relay pins 15 and 16 go back to the negative of the power supply so you'll notice that this relay has two switches on it pins 4 6 8 9 11 and 13 and they'll operate when we either hit the set or the reset so now if we press one of the push button switches down now these are momentary switches so just a quick push on it so what happens here you'll notice that uh, the positive has gone through to the set 
of the relay so that's operated the switch and you'll notice on the right there the switch is flicked over to the other position so now when I let go of the push button the switch on the right hand side of the latching relay will stay in that position that's why it's called the latching relay as I mentioned before so now if we go and operate the other momentary push button that's connected to the reset it will flick the relay back so I'll just toggle that so that's flicked it back the switch over to the other position and then when we uh, release the button it, the latching relay will stay in that position so that's pretty much how the latching relay works so I've had to turn the lights down a little bit so you can actually see this because you won't see the LEDs otherwise so here we have the unit now you can see the turnout is in the straight position at the moment and it's indicated on the LED here and if we flick it down it flicks over and the other LED lights up so it's with the latching relay in the circuit so that works all very nice so if you want to create something without that extra push button this is uh, quite a handy way to do it okay I hope they've I hope you enjoyed that video or found it useful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. It uh, might take a bit to get your head around the latching relay part of it. But um, yeah, it works well. I'm sure there's other ways you can do this, but uh, that's the sort of way I came up with it. This is John at Wibbletrain saying thanks for watching once again. Thanks to everybody, subscribers and non-subscribers, for taking an interest. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.